Uh, welcome, everybody. Glad you're here. Um, I uh, am so excited about uh, this big announcement I want to share with you this morning, and, um, and so uh, Christmas has started, uh, and I'm excited about the Broken Halo series that's happening, and uh, all the decorations. I'm just, I'm ready. I'm ready to get back uh, into it, and um, excited for Christmas. So uh, I have a couple, I, I promised a big announcement this morning, and I wanted to share it with you. So about two years ago, our church felt God kind of moving us and prompting us to actually get involved in um, church planting and church campusing. And what we mean by that is multiplying the body of Christ, because I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but statistically, more churches are closing than are opening. And that's in a culture where the population is increasing. Do you follow what I just said? So what that means is we could very easily listen within one generation see a post-Christian culture, ready, in America, if, if the statistics play themselves out. So population's growing, churches are closing quicker than we're planting. And so that means the church is actually losing ground. And so well, I've said, and many churches have actually said, we need to be part of halting that trend. And we're serious about it. And so I don't know if you know this, but every dollar that you put in the buckets that just passed, we set aside money. We've been doing this for several years now. We set aside part of our tithe as a church to plant more churches. And so before we were ready to plant, we felt we needed to change a couple of things. We needed to increase our missional awareness as a congregation. And so we changed. We added the four Ds to our discipleship in small groups. We've changed our thinking on that. We've, we realized we were facility uh, deficient, so we didn't have enough room for our kids. We were like having to Vaseline kids to get them in the rooms, you know. And so, and many of you had the experience where you had to, um, your kid couldn't go into the age-appropriate class because that had reached capacity. Well, we've adjusted all that, and now we have this incredible new facility that we've just opened, parking lot. So now we're ready for the next stage. The next stage is this. We need somebody to champion this charge of planting campuses and planting churches, building campuses and churches. And um, I am so excited to announce to you and introduce you uh, to Jeremy Summers, uh, who will take on that challenge for us as a congregation. Let me tell you a little bit about who Jeremy is. Uh, he's ordained. His uh, education is Indiana Wesleyan, and then he went to Asbury Seminary, which is also where I went. And then he went on to do his doctorate at Fuller. Yep, Fuller, right? Fuller, I just want to make sure you're Fuller, and, um, and um, he has worked at numerous churches. He's co-authored uh, two books and written several other, op other uh, articles and type things, and, um, and we have this wonderful opportunity to actually have him join our staff and to his whole job description, plant churches, build campuses, plant churches, build campuses, and that's what he's going to do because... We're going to reverse the trend. Just us. No, not, not, not just us. Everybody. We're going to reverse the trend so we can give our kids um, an, incredible, an incredible Christian culture as they take over the keys to the churches. Now, Jeremy comes with a beautiful family, as you see, standing here beside him. Um, and I've, always, I've been teasing them all morning. So their kids are Macy, raise your hands, Ava, Micah, and Ty. Okay, right there. You're going to hear a little bit about Micah and Ty, I know, in the message. And um, incredible, his, his incredible wife, Andrea Summers, uh, is also here. And, and, and so through all of this, you're going to hear from Jeremy in, in, the, in the days ahead as he comes and shares with us. This morning, I asked Andrea if she'd be willing to share with us. And so Andrea also did undergrad at IWU, went to Asbury Seminary, and then she's done her doctorate at uh, Candler School of Theology at Emory. Um, she is on the religion faculty at Southern Western University, and uh, yeah, well, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your mom's here. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> and, um, and on top of all that, uh, she, one of the things that I really appreciate about Andrew, where I first started at least seeing some of her ministry, she led something called the Sacred Alliance through Wesley Seminary. And the Sacred Alliance is basically a community of men and women saying that we need both men and women involved in advancing the gospel, and she hit that out of the park. And so we are incredibly excited for you and your family to be here and to be part of Alive and for what God is going to do through your efforts here. And so thank you for joining the vision and joining the mission of our church. And uh, I'm going to say a word of prayer, and then we can show them some love. Lord, thank you so much for these beautiful people, the high honor of being able to even be on the platform with them and to introduce them to these people in the Alive community that I love and hold so dear. I pray, Father, that this would be a fruitful place for their ministry. I pray that you would use them indeed, Lord, in movement-type material. And we would look back on this moment and say, wow, 
that day, we started reversing the trend. And Lord, I just wonder, as I think about the days ahead under uh, this family's leadership, under Jeremy's leadership, how many churches will get planted? Just because of this congregation being faithful and caring about the upstate. And Lord, would you even give us beyond? And whatever it is you desire, Lord, we're on board. This is more about you than any of us. We're very comfortable where we are, Lord. We got a great church. We got comfortable chairs and great coffee and a great children's area, great youth program. We're very comfortable. But Lord, we weren't called to be comfortable. We're called. <laughs> and we're called to reach. And that's what we want to do. So you have blessed us so greatly. And we want to be faithful to what you've blessed us with. Use Jeremy to lead this charge. May this family thrive here. For Andrea, over the next few moments, give her your spirit's anointing. Let her sense your comfort most of all. And uh, may she minister with the freedom that only comes from someone who knows you and is speaking for you. In your name, amen. Would you please show them some love?